Hello everyone, I am Dr. Achri Chatterjee, Associate Professor, Jagannath University, Jaipur. Here, I am going to talk about Indian culture and media ethics. This is an introductory video about the course Indian culture and media ethics. And in this video, we are going to talk about the course objective, course contents, <coughs> sorry, uh, textbooks and reference books, course outcomes, the elements and how we will continue with the course in four quadrants. These are um, the areas that we are going to discuss in this introductory video. This introductory video will help the student to understand that how a student will start the subject and how, what exactly a student will learn and discuss and study in this subject and what will be the entire procedure of a course to be over. So let's uh, begin with this. As you can see on the screen, the name of the course is Indian Culture and Media Ethics. It is a four credit paper and the course category is core. This is a subject of second semester and Dr. Rajri Chatterjee is the course coordinator. Let's discuss the course objectives. <coughs> the subject will help the student to enable the student to understand various media ethics, policy and regulatory frameworks in India that affect, that affect media establishment, communication activities. The course will examine the success or failure of existing media politics and regulations in a technologically dynamic media environment. It will also help the student to understand and analyze the broad range of specific ethical and moral issues pertinent to various aspects of the media. Now let's discuss the course objectives. At the end of the course, the student will be able to understand broad range of specific ethical and legal issues pertinent to various aspects of media. The students will be able to investigate the techniques for dealing with ethical practices by media and moral dilemmas that students may encounter in their professional lives. It will also help the student to examine the recent cases of ethical issues in media and it will also help the student to analyze the general nature of ethical, legal and moral discourse pertaining to professional communication. And lastly, it will also help the student to apply the ethical practices in national and international scenario. <coughs> now before I start with the LMS contents, let's understand that how the course is divided and what exactly are the content of the course. The course is divided in five parts. The first part, each part has got three units. The first part is ethics introduction. The second part is about codes and standards in media. The third part is moral and social and moral responsibility of press. The fourth part is media and society. And the last part is current issues. <coughs> so let's take a quick um, review of um, what all are the areas that we are going to discuss part wise or section wise in the first section of ethics introduction we will study ethics concept and importance of media ethics code of ethics practical applications and solutions to media ethical theories deontology utilitarianism and teleological the students will also study the theories based on, based on rights and virtue and the principles of media ethics, accountability and transparency. In the same um, quadrant, 
students will study the components of um, media ethics like ethical values and conflicts of values so these are the major areas that comes under the um, introduction to ethics <coughs> the second part is code and standards in media so here in this part the student will study journalistic code of conduct and the code of conduct that have been given by press council courts and parliamentary code of conduct for journalists in india and student will also study the parliamentary privileges and immunities tips for reporting for parliament broadcasting code codes especially for all india radio fundamental principles and self regulations for television by nba the students will also will also study public relations and advertising code of conduct <coughs> sorry general principles and practices so the second uh, section will all about variety of codes of conduct given by different important media organizations the third quadrant is related to social and moral responsibility of press so it includes the normative theories of press in which student will study authoritarian libertarian social responsibility and soviet media theory the student will also study media responsibilities and restrictions a comparative study in uk usa and india pressures on journalists types and professional solutions is a code of ethics <coughs> uh censorship and film certification and ott platforms freedom of responsibility in uh, reporting method media trial and right to privacy so in the third quadrant students are going to study various professional solutions and practices and in fourth quadrant student will study about media and society the fourth quadrant is further divided in three parts like media and women media and politics and media and religion so in the fourth quadrant a student will study about media and society to understand society they need to study the status of women women empowerment advancement of women strategies portrayal of women in media films reality shows ott platforms and advertisements etc and representing women issues in media and politics basics of political communications ethics and security implications media usage by political parties rise of polarization and divisive content social media and indian politics the third part is related to media and religion here the student will study about role of media in cinema television social media and dedicated channels for religion narrowed down the scope of religion widened superficial perception relations between media religion and politics role of media during communal rights these are the points that a student need to understand in the section media and society the last section is related to the current issues here the student will study social media regulations like ott platform regulations hate speech reporting and consequences concept pros and cons of paparazzi the concept of sting operation legal regulations associated with sting operations cases media advocacy and media activism in activism journalism student will study the concept objectivity and criticism and issues like paid news fake news issues associated and adoption of international best practices and <coughs> types and cases in india so now let's come to the um, lms contents so lms has four quadrants as under the very first quadrant is e tutorials it includes introductory video of the course content videos audios on each unit of the syllabus so as i have discussed like each unit 
in each unit the topics of each unit i'm going to um tell you that there will be audios and videos available to the students about each topic of unit as mentioned in the syllabi in quadrant 2 it contains self instructional material like ebooks web resources research paper journals and other reference materials quadrant 3 it is the discussion forum for raising of doubts and clarifying them on a near real time basis different topics of emerging issues will be uploaded from time to time and students will participate in discussions in quadrant 4 it is related to the assessment where student will they can check and all the above has been uploaded unit wise at lms the assessment will be based on unit wise and each question will contain multiple choice questions short answer questions and long answer questions now let's discuss the learning process in guidance note to understand the relevance of the course <coughs> it will help the student enable the student to understand various media ethics policy and regulatory framework in india and affect media establishments communication activities the course will examine the success or failure of existing media policies and regulations in a technology dynamic media environment and it will also help to understand and analyze the broad range of specific ethical and moral issues pertinent to various aspects of the media it will the pedagogical process will include live classes assignments quizzes frequently asked questions and clarifications on general misconceptions additional activities include master classes lectures by industry experts and professionals case studies etc kindly note that additional activities include master classes lectures by industry expert professionals case studies etc now let's take a quick look about the reference book the te- textbook are media laws its ethics and ethos by devesh kishore marriage migration and gender by rajini patriwala deadly laws and jealous reformers by madhu purnima media laws a brief introduction observation by akash kamal introduction to environmental law by s shanta kumar environment media and communication by Francis Group Politics in India Comparative Study by A K Tiwari These are the few reference book which a student can study and take reference to understand the topics further So I hope I am able to give a brief introduction about this entire course as I have discussed the course objective the course contents elements lms uh, content and how a student will start from zero and able to qualify the subject at the end and i have also given reference of uh, certain textbooks and reference book and at the end i have discussed the course outcomes so i hope this will help the student to understand the same and to understand the detail of this course thank you so much